Well, do you feel like you're on an endless merry-go-round of meetings all the time at work? There are more and more meetings, it seems, and for years, even before COVID, even before Zoom, study after study found there were just too many meetings. And we still, I guess we have meetings to talk about how we can have fewer meetings. An expert on leadership and company culture is with us, the CEO and founder of Hawaii Fluid Art, which is the fastest growing art franchise in the country. And she's passionate about using team building exercises as part of a plan to turn companies around. Please welcome to the program, Maya Radcliffe. Uh, Good morning, uh, Maya. How are you? Doing great. Thank you for having me. I guess Zoom made more meetings possible, right? Zoom technology? Absolutely, it did. And sometimes we're just overusing the platform. Uh, And I see here in some of the research that's out there right now, I thought thought this was interesting. Workers who left their organization within one year enabled their cameras in 18.4% of small group meetings. That number was higher for workers who stayed past a year at 32.5. So that might be an indication that somebody's about ready to ghost you when they start ghosting you on Zoom meetings. Absolutely. If they're disengaged in the meeting, that means they're probably disengaged in the company as a whole. And what we're seeing is so many meetings that are unnecessary where a a simple email or better yet, using one of the communication channels such as Slack or Monday to get information from one team member to another could be utilized. Well, yeah, and, and that's really the crux, I guess. We feel like meetings are wasting our time because there's so many meetings that are unnecessary. 100%. You know, communication styles from leadership down are very important. And if we are taking our company's time and our employees' time when they need to be getting stuff done, GSD, well, then what we're doing is making them less effective in the workplace. I saw, too, that as of, uh, well, this was 2021. Maybe this is the last time this research was available. I don't know. There was research of 40 million meetings involving more than 450,000 employees across 11 companies and workers there attended an average of 8.3 meetings a week. <laughs> and then that went up into, well, 2023, so there is more recent information. That went up to 10.1 meetings. Is this, um, now they say that if managers, I mean, managers, though, do need to have FaceTime with their employees, and meetings are an opportunity to get everybody together to make sure everybody's on the same page, right? So there are some useful reasons for getting everybody together in a conference room. Absolutely, but we need to use that time wisely. We need to stick to an agenda. This isn't a time for visiting and and team building. Team building comes separately. This is really about getting information across to the people that need it in a concise and timely manner. And leadership down needs to work on their communication styles. I noticed, too, getting back to the Zoom situation with the cameras, and I have one of these once a week where uh, I have to get on some corporate call, and it usually doesn't take very long, but they get all of the people in my position throughout the entire company together on a Zoom call, and it's mandatory that you have your camera on. Why do they do that? Why do they, Is it because they want to make sure that you're paying attention, you just didn't log into the Zoom meeting and then you know run down to the, uh, the corner store or run down the hall? They want to make sure, I guess, you're... You're paying attention. It doesn't mean I'm necessarily paying attention just because I have a camera on, but I guess they just want to make sure that I'm seated in front of a screen and actually have the meeting, that I'm participating in the meeting physically. Correct. They want to make sure you're actually working. There's a reason for that. Many people will log on to these meetings with camera off while sitting at a Starbucks or sitting at a local coffee shop and absolutely not paying attention to what's happening in the meeting. When you have 100 plus people on a meeting, it's very hard to engage everybody. We need to keep our meeting sizes down and allow mid-management to get that information to their teams rather than making everybody from a team sit on a call. Is it better to have maybe one meeting with your folks a week where you kind of outline what everybody's supposed to do or what the objective or goal is for that week? And then and, and, and basically that's it. That's a, that's a meeting that, all right, everybody pretty much knows what they need to do this week. And if there's any other necessary communication, we'll take care of it via email, text or face to face. You know, it really depends on the corporation and the size of the corporation, but limiting the meetings are, you know, it's just an important thing to do in order for people to get stuff done. We have to have time to do our actual work. And if we're doing 10 hours a week in online meetings, well, our workload is not really being taken care of because we just don't have the time. Yeah, and it's costing companies money, too, because that's wasted productivity. Absolutely. And it it encourages turnover. You know, people that are forced to attend too many meetings are tend to be under producers, but that's caused by the company that they work for. So it's really not fair to anybody involved. 
Have you come up, Maya, with a a good number of how many meetings of a, a, any employee should have to attend in a, in a week? Is it one? Is it five? I mean, is there a good number, or is this another? I'm sure to some extent it, it depends on the organization, but is there kind of a general a number of, this is a reasonable amount of meetings and it shouldn't go over that? Well, I think it really depends on the uh, the position in the company, et cetera. But if we could keep our meetings to three a week and you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, mm. Monday, talk about where we're headed. Wednesday, talk about how things are going and Friday recap. Wouldn't that be great for everybody? Well, the only problem is uh, my on Friday. I just pretend to work. <laughs> <laughs> so if you make me come to a meeting and I got to turn my camera on, uh, but, you know, but other than that, yeah, that sounds very reasonable to me. Uh, uh, and I guess not have those meetings all on one day. No, definitely spread them out. Uh, people get meeting burnout very quickly when you're when we have three or four in a day. I know personally, some days I have up to six face to face meetings, video hmm. calls uh, a day, and it makes me work longer hours in order to get everything else done that I need to get done. Absolutely, Maya Radcliffe, expert on leadership and company uh, culture. Too many meetings, meeting overload, out of control, and it's costing everybody money. And frustrating people as well, too. Maya, it was good to talk to you. Thanks very much for your time today. Thanks for having me.